My name is Melanie Swan. In more traditional science circles, I identify myself as an applied human geneticist because we are applying human genetic information on a personalized basis to realize preventive medicine. I would call myself a gene geek or a health geek in the health hacking DIY bio space of innovators. This means that I'm interested in hacking solutions related to my personal genetic information. I got interested in genetics because I got my 23andMe data four years ago, and what I noticed was that the risk models that were used to um, determine whether you have a high risk for cancer or, or different things like that uh, were very primitive to what I'd seen in my previous experience uh, working on Wall Street. And so I wanted to apply the uh, more sophisticated quantitative models that we have in finance and insurance to um, the area of, of assessing genetic risk. I have a nonprofit health research startup I founded two years ago called DIYgenomics.org, and we operate crowdsourced health research studies and also design and launch uh, mobile apps in regard to personal genetic information. Crowdsourcing is sort of a new concept in the last few years and it basically means uh, issuing an open call over the internet to people to participate in a project. At DIY Genomics, the idea that leads all of our studies is that one or more mutations or polymorphisms in your genome may lead to conditions in your blood that can be improved with a personalized intervention. One study that we've done is a vitamin B deficiency study. And so this was one of the first citizen science projects tying personal genetic data to, to blood levels of vitamin B and trying different interventions and finding personalized solutions that worked for each individual. These are some of the things that I've made. This is a personal genome mobile application, and it's available on mobile devices. So we'll go in and we select the DIY Genomics app. This is a free app. This provides a side-by-side -side comparison of personal genome services, whether you might want to order from 23andMe or DecodeMe or Navigenics. We offer the ability to look at the top 20 health conditions as well as 200 different drugs, how you might respond, and then your capacity for different kinds of athletic performance. I can look at drugs, so for example, for a drug called warfarin, which is used in surgeries as an anti-clotting uh, mechanism. And in this case, I do have mutations listed here in red in some of the important SNPs, which means that, in fact, I'm a, a sensitive responder to warfarin and a lower than normal dose would be what a physician would order. Then we also have athletic performance. And so, for example, in regard to strength, I actually have a lot of mutations in my strength-related genes. And so knowing this now has caused me to do a lot more weightlifting in my uh, exercise regimen. We're doing a sleep tracking study where we're trying a variety of interventions to improve sleep quality and seeing if genetic profile might have any relation to it. One of the important aspects in our studies is collecting data. Another tool that we use is a MyZeo sleep tracking device. This headband uh, is something that you wear at night and uh, sends information digitally to the bedside console and measures four different kinds of sleep. And in the morning, you can find out about the quality of your sleep and you can look at your longitudinal sleep data over time on the web. My hope and dream is that citizen science health moves beyond uh, just a niche interest, that we cross a chasm into the mainstream where the majority of the population is doing a variety of health self-tracking activities, managing their health with health social networks and participating in crowdsourced studies and improving their health and biology literacy.